Duchess of Wellington's. Meghan Markle walks through a field in very stylish boots as she and Prince Harry arrive in Auckland for a welly wanging contest and tour of native bushland. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have donned a pair of stylish Wellington boots to take part in a welly wanging contest while visiting Auckland on the third day of their royal tour of New Zealand. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's first engagement of the day was a trip to a native bush reserve at Red Vale on the city's north shore. The royal couple's main focus of the visit was to dedicate the 20-hectare, 49-acre, area of bush to the Queen's Commonwealth canopy. They unveiled a plaque recognizing the dedication to the QCC, which conserves indigenous forests for future generations, before planting trees at the site. But it was the Wellington boot throwing contest involving local school children which proved to be a hit with the crowds who turned out for the visit. Meghan's team emerged victorious, with the Duchess proving quite the natural in the unusual contest, given it was most likely her first time partaking in such a sport. She had swapped a stylish navy blue blazer for a black hooded zip up jacket with a KI National Trust logo for the occasion, the same jacket her husband wore. The $219. Pound 120 slash 155 US dollars. Wellington boots worn by the couple are from the original Muck Boot Company. They were later gifted a pair of small boots for their firstborn. Meghan pressed her forehead and nose up against another woman for the traditional Hongi greeting while shaking her hand at a ceremony to dedicate the area of native bush to the Queen's Commonwealth canopy. Harry also embraced the woman's hand and gave her a similarly intimate hongi hello at the ceremony. The couple received gifts from locals following the ceremony, including what appeared to be a knitted rug and a pair of green children's Wellington boots with cartoon characters on them. A drizzle of rain did not appear to dampen the spirits of Meghan, who appeared cheerful in the front row of the ceremony. Harry on the other hand appeared rather glum at one stage as he held an umbrella above himself and a man seated at his side. Meghan made good use of her Wellington boots in the wet weather, helping two school children plant a native tree to add to the area of bush in the Queen's honor. She appeared focused on the task at hand, as did her two young helpers, who also wore rain jackets and Wellington boots to protect them in the soggy conditions. The couple will later join the country's Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern to visit Pillars, a charity operating across New Zealand. Later in the afternoon, the royal couple will have the opportunity to meet the people of Auckland on the Viaduct Harbour, before attending a reception hosted by Ms Ardern at the Auckland War Memorial Museum. The final day of their Royal Highness's tour will take place in Rotorua on Wednesday. The Duke and Duchess will head to Rainbow Springs to learn more about the center's Kiwi breeding program. Later that afternoon, Meghan and Harry will head into the city for the chance to meet members of the public gathered there. The royal couple then heads back to London. New Zealand is the fourth country the royal couple have visited on their mammoth 16-day tour following visits to Australia, Fiji, and Tonga.